Hey guys, we're back here again. I got the uh, bayonet attached on the end right here. This is the uh, USMC bayonet for the um, M16A4 upper right here. I got uh, five rounds in the gun right now for the uh, TAM magazine, the uh, Gen 3 uh, P Mag magazine. I got the uh, brand new 2019 uh, Federal 223. This is the 55 grain full metal jacket bow tail. Um, I think it's around 2,900, 3,000 feet per second. And we've got a, a quick shot video here for you guys. So we'll run five uh, uh, five bullets straight through the barrel right here. And you'll see um, that you can actually shoot the weapon with the bayonet on as it is right here. Because the bayonet's supposed to be attached as a means to the, uh, defend yourself whenever you're in combat right there for that. So we'll do a uh, shooting with the bayonet attached. Always make sure the bayonet's uh, secure on the end right here. It's locked in position on both sides. So it should be perfectly fine on the end of on the barrel. Okay, we get a good stance here for you. Okay, looks good right there. How about right there? Okay. No problem, guys. Function fine. The bayonet did not come off. As uh, I I seen some guys online say, "Oh, your bayonet might fly off or something like that." As long as you got secured on here, it'll be perfectly fine, no problem. So always make sure it's actually locked into the back of the lug, the gas block right here for that. So that's with the uh, bayonet attached on the um, A4, uh, M16A4 upper. I have the uh, bolt carrier group, which is PSA. It has the uh, DLC coating on here for the bolt carrier group, so function fine with the magazine. No fail to feed, no fail to eject. And um, it has H3 buffer and simple four in the actual buffer tube assembly right back here for that. So if anybody has any comments, questions, whatnot, uh, feel free to leave me a message here. We're going to try 